Hi, I'm Tommy Master from data36.com and in this video you will learn SQL in five minutes. Select everything from table name. This is our base query. It means that we select every column from a given SQL data table. Now let's see this in a concrete example. Select everything from zoo. See every row and every column from the SQL table called zoo. Let's extend this base query and select specific columns instead of all columns. Select animal water need from zoo and it returns only the animal and water need columns. Do you want to print only the first five rows? Easy, just add limit five. Do you want to filter for specific rows? Let's say only for rows that contain lions. That's easy as well, where animal is lion. Do you need more filters? Not a problem either. Where animal is lion and water need is greater than 490. Perfect. Now in SQL syntax is important. For instance, you have to use semicolons at the end of each query and you have to watch out for keyword order too. When it comes to formatting, I recommend using SQL keywords with capital letters. You can also break your queries into more lines for transparency. Adding comments is useful too. Just type two dashes. After the double dash, nothing in that line will be executed. Now let's talk about functions. You can count lines. You can calculate averages. Minimum and maximum values, of course. Sums. But you can also do this broken down into segments. For instance, let's break some water need down by animal. For that, you will need group by animal and group by animal. Excellent. Hmm, alphabetical order would be better. Let's add order by animal. Prefer backwards, add descending. Okay, let's see what else. Well, sometimes working with one table is not enough. You need to bring in another table, like food. Select everything from food. You can combine two tables if they have common values. For that, you need to use join. With join, every row will be merged where the value from the food table's animal column matches the zoo table's animal column. In other words, elephants will be connected to elephants, lions to lions, and so on. But wait a minute, what happened with the kangaroos and the giraffes? In real life data science projects, quite often one or more of the values is presented only in one of the two tables you want to join, and by default, these values won't show up in the joined results table. At least if you use the default inner join, try full join instead. See, giraffe and kangaroos. You can do this for only one of the two tables with left join or for the other one with the right join. Now, these were only the basics. Let's take it to the next level. For instance, combine the different SQL keywords we learned so far and count how many animals in the zoo data table eat meat or vegetables or both. That's a join combined with a group by combined with a count. You can tweak these results further with more advanced keywords like having. If you want to filter in this result table for those food type categories where the animal count is less than 10, do this. And if that's not complex enough, let's write an outer query that works with the result of our original inner query. For instance, count the lines in the result table of this inner query. And of course, you can use just as many subqueries as you want. And this 
is the complexity of SQL that most junior data scientists have to know and use in the first few months when they get into their first data science position. Now you learned it in as quick as five minutes. Or did you? Well, I hope that now you see that SQL cannot be learned in five minutes. And whatever those scammy Facebook and Instagram ads say, data science can be learned in a few days or in a few weeks. If you really want to become a data scientist, you have to work hard, you have to learn a lot, and it will take time and effort, of course. But don't let that disencourage you, because that's an opportunity. Others will look for shortcuts and four minute tutorials, but you, in the meantime, can build a solid knowledge base. And yes, it might take six months or nine months or a year, but for now, it's enough if you take the first step. SQL cannot be learned in five minutes, but the most important parts of it can be learned in one or two weeks. I made that easy for you. Just check out my free SQL tutorial videos and articles. They are much more detailed than this one. Go through them, do the coding with me, and learn SQL for real. Again, it will definitely be more than five minutes, but it will still be one of the best time investments of your life and a great first step towards your data science career. Find all the links somewhere around this video.